Welcome to Gotwood. My name is Dana, and I created this channel to basically show anybody out there that if you have any type of wood, whether it be scrap from your big box store, or if it's hardwood, softwood, whatever, we can make things out of it. Today, we're going to show you how to make these decorative stars. That's what they look like. They are basically picket fences that I had left over from a job that I did. And it's old scrap pieces of picket. And we're gonna show you how to turn that into this. So basically these are the pickets that I had left over from a job that I did. And it's a two foot bottom section off of a six foot picket because the client wanted four foot pickets and it was cheaper to go with the six foot. So basically we're going to turn these into these stars. So what I've done here is I have the pattern for a large star and each one of these gets a 36 degree angle on the bottom and a 54 degree angle on the top and your large star is cut six inches and four and three quarters and then for the medium star it's basically five inches and three and three quarters with a 54 and 36 and for a small star, you have two and three quarters, four inches with a 54 and a 36. So we're starting with the 54. So we're gonna start off by cutting a 54 degree angle. I have this jig set up, it is 24 degrees. So we set our miter saw at 30, which will give us the 54 degree angle that we need. So now that we have the 54 degree angle cut, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the miter and we're gonna cut the 36 degree. So now we're gonna cut the 36 degree angle. So we're gonna set our miter to 36. So it's on 30 now, 35, 36. We're tightening it up. And then we're basically going to set a, we're gonna put the saw down, or you can put it right on the four inch, cause it's a four inch measure. And then you're gonna basically bring it down to make sure it's good on the cut and it is not. So that gauge is wrong. But we're basically going to put a stop on that fence. So, So we basically set up a saw stop on our miter and we're basically going to push the star over until it stops there and then we're going to make our cut. I have all of the patterns that I cut out um, and what we're going to do is we're going to lay them out, we're going to dry fit them and then we're going to use type on three because these are pressure treated. Um, we can use them outside as uh, decorations, or we can hang them inside. You can paint them, you can stain them, you can sand them. I left them rough um, just to give them a weathered look, but we're gonna go ahead and lay them out, and then we're gonna glue and nail them together.
All right, so basically I'm going to use three quarter inch brad nails and the tight bond and we're gonna go ahead and stick this thing together. Okay. Alright, so after I uh, glued and nailed these together, so as you can see we have the small, medium, and large star. They're ready for either a paint or stain, or you can hang them outside as they are, as they are pressure treated and weatherproof. <laughs> 